Uh, I know that uh, there are uh, uh, several people here uh, who have worked on this uh, issue, and uh, uh, I very much uh, look forward to uh, interactions. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, we, uh, we are focusing on, uh, by the way, uh, this is a joint paper uh, with uh, Victor Pontines at uh, the Asian Development Bank Institute. We focus on uh, the, uh, uh, this anchor uh, currency role uh, as unit of account uh, as uh, one of the three functions of uh, international currencies for the official sector. Uh, anchor for pegging uh, or use in currency baskets of local currency. The, uh, clearly, the importance of uh, China in the global economy has risen over time. This is a global share of export uh, for, for China. Uh, uh, and uh, from the point of view of the US and EU, the importance of China uh, as uh, the import source and export desti destination, both uh, have, uh, have risen. And uh, as a market, uh, China's importance have, has been rising. Uh, and uh, domestic demand, uh, still, uh, it's uh, still you know, some way to go, but uh, domestic demand on the part of China has been rising fast. And uh, many uh, Asian economies have uh, increased their dependence on uh, on China from the point of view of uh, exports and, and imports. And uh, perhaps uh, there may make some sense for uh, some economies, in particular in Asia, to uh, try to track the renminbi exchange rate in their exchange rate policies. So uh, what, uh, what, what we do is uh, uh, to apply a very simple uh, Frankel way method uh, uh, to really understand East Asian countries' exchange rate arrangements. Uh, to what extent uh, do they uh, depend on the renminbi exchange rate movement? And uh, we have had uh, some literature. I'm not going to go over this. Uh, the so we add uh, uh, the renminbi exchange rate to uh, the Frankel way uh, equation. Uh, of course, uh, the problem is that on the right hand side, we have the US dollar and the renminbi. Uh, that creates a uh, problem, uh, uh, very strong uh, uh, multicollinearity uh, problem. Uh, the uh, if you uh, estimate simply uh, the previous equation, uh, by the way, uh, in our uh, uh, paper, uh, we took uh, the New Zealand dollar as a numerical currency uh, because a Swiss franc, uh, as you may know, uh, was pegged to uh, the euro uh, you know, after the uh, global financial crisis, the eurozone crisis although uh, Switzerland just depegged uh, from the euro in a sample period, uh, this uh, uh, Swiss franc peg to the euro uh, was included, so we decided to use uh, uh, the New Zealand dollar, uh, which was uh, uh, flexible currency. Uh, when we estimate uh, that equation, uh, you know, a very simple equation, then we can see a very strong uh, 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 multicollinearity problem between uh, the uh, uh, renminbi uh, exchange rate coefficient and the US dollar uh, coefficient. Uh, 
one more. Yeah. For, for example, uh, this is Indonesia, this is a US dollar weight, and then the US dollar weight suddenly declined and the renminbi uh, went up. So very similar uh, movements uh, uh, is observed across, uh, across currencies. So in the li literature, uh, uh, three ways were proposed to uh, 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 tackle uh, this, uh, this problem. Uh, Ho Ma Macaulay, uh, uh, Gonan uh, is here as uh, one of the uh, authors, uh, chose uh, a period when, uh, uh, so, sorry, uh, Ho Ma Macaulay uh, used uh, uh, the, uh, remin uh, the US dollar as a numerical currency rather than as a third currency. And, and also for the renminbi exchange rate, uh, they used uh, the non-deliverable forward exchange rate rather than the spot exchange rate. The second approach uh, was uh, taken by Henning and, uh, and Subramanian Kessler. Uh, they chose the periods uh, for which uh, the renminbi exchange rate uh, was uh, relatively flexible, or more flexible than uh, July uh, 2005 when the renminbi was depegged from the US dollar. And then the third approach uh, uh, was uh, uh, to obtain the uh, orthogonal part of uh, the renminbi exchange rate relative to the US dollar, and then use the, use the residual, uh, the, the orthogonal part uh, uh, in the uh, Frankel way uh, regression equation. Bala, as uh, Subramanian, uh, uh, Patnaik, and Shah. Uh, authors, authors are here. Uh, and uh, uh, other uh, uh, authors also used uh, this approach. So a uh, whole Ma Macaulay approach, uh, we replicated uh, uh, their uh, method. They found, uh, Ho Ma Macaulay found, uh, for, for example, uh, in 2004, the Korean won, in the case of the Korean won, uh, the renminbi exchange rate uh, weight was bigger than uh, the US dollar weight, you know, which, which was a surprise. Uh, and and uh, and I didn't uh, believe uh, that that result. Uh, uh, maybe uh, Gonan may come back. Uh, uh, now, what what we did was uh, to conduct uh, rolling uh, regressions with uh, uh, about one year uh, rolling window, uh, and uh, you know the sample period is fixed. The peri uh, sorry, the length of the sample period is fixed, and then. Uh, this uh, uh, was rolled over, uh, you know, uh, uh, daily uh, using uh, daily exchange rates, and then so uh, so this uh, this shows that uh, the renminbi exchange rate in red and blue, uh, the U.S. dollar exchange rate, you know, very highly highly uh, uh, multicollinear, uh, very unstable, very unstable. So. Uh, uh, even though uh, Homer Macaulay may have gotten some, some result, uh, actually it's, it was not a very stable result. Okay. And then Henning and, and Subramanian and Kessler approach, they really claim, in particular Subramanian and Kessler, uh, it's, it's very interesting, renminbi has now become the dominant reference currency in East Asia eclipsing the dollar and the euro. There is now a de facto renminbi currency block in East Asia. Their finding uh, was that uh, uh, the, when you compare the US dollar weight with uh, the renminbi weight, uh, this is uh, the renminbi weight. In many cases, the renminbi weights were, were higher than the US dollar weights. Uh, they claim they chose the periods uh, for which uh, the renminbi exchange rate was more flexible. 
but then when I, you know, uh, I saw this uh, result, I, I, didn't, I didn't trust that uh, the results were right. Uh, uh, so, so again, conducting a uh, rolling uh, regression, uh, the uh, shaded, uh, shaded period was a period when, uh, uh, say, Subramanian uh, and Kessler uh, said uh, the RMB exchange rate uh, was more flexible. But uh, you can see a great deal of uh, multi-collinearity once again. The coefficients are not uh, very stable. Okay. So uh, uh, finally, uh, this uh, balanced with Subramanian, uh, Patnaik, and, and Shah approach. Uh, so our, uh, we, we thought uh, their, their approach was very good. Uh, and uh, essentially, uh, what, what they did was uh, to run the renminbi uh, e equation uh, using Frankel way, except that the uh, US data was used on the right-hand side. And they used uh, this uh, estimated uh, residual uh, back into the Frankel way regression equation, okay? Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, they, uh, they got uh, some interesting uh, result, but uh, uh, their results uh, shows that the uh, US dollar coefficients and renminbi coefficients were, were very, very high. And uh, sometimes uh, the renminbi coefficient was higher than uh, the US dollar coefficient. We thought uh, their approach was good, but uh, we, we didn't think that the, the results were right. So, so, uh, so but, but uh, their uh, paper was really the starting point uh, for, for us. But again, uh, conducting a uh, rolling uh, uh, regression, uh, so red is again the renminbi, uh, blue is the US. So, so their approach was, was good because th they uh, obtained very stable uh, uh, US dollar coefficient. But uh, the coefficient on the renminbi was uh, unstable. Uh, uh, for, for example here, uh, and, and this scale is very large, not uh, between, you know, zero and one. Uh, this is uh, 60, uh, this is four, so, uh, okay. Uh, so again, uh, uh, this is uh, their result, okay. So, so what, 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 uh, we do is basically to follow uh, this uh, orthogonal approach uh, and uh, uh, we uh, uh, what what we did uh, this this is bas basically an equation similar to uh, Balas, Blamanium, uh, Patanike and Shah uh, and and what what we did was uh, to constrain uh, the sum of the coefficients on these currencies, the US dollar, Euro, Japanese yen, uh, pound sterling, and uh, renminbi to be equal to one, and uh, subtract uh, from each term this uh, 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 residual, okay? And uh, what, what we got uh, was uh, the coefficient. Say this is uh, the period uh, during uh, the renminbi peg. Uh, the renminbi coefficients are sometimes significant. Uh, then uh, this is uh, uh, before the uh, Lehman shock. Uh, but after uh, depegging of the renminbi, uh, the coefficient renminbi coefficients were bigger, uh, but were still relatively small. And then this is uh, 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 after uh, the global financial crisis. Uh, the, rem the, the renminbi coefficients were were bigger, uh, but but. Uh, still in comparison to the US dollar weight, uh, the coefficients were much, much smaller uh, for, the, for the renminbi. Although uh, the renminbi weight is now more significant 
uh, done before. And uh, conducting a rolling uh, regression, uh, this is, uh, uh, so, so the scale is 1.2 over here, and uh, 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 for many currencies, a US dollar uh, remains uh, uh, relatively high, although uh, in this, uh, this is uh, uh, India, uh, Indian uh, rupee, well, we included uh, India as part of uh, East Asia. Sorry, but uh, uh, so the US dollar weight has been uh, declining, uh, the renminbi weight uh, has been rising. Uh, okay, this is uh, a Korean one. Uh, this U.S. dollar weight, this is renminbi weight, okay? Uh, so, we don't, uh, we don't uh, observe a very wild fluctuations of, uh, of uh, the renminbi. Uh, we, and then uh, we conducted, uh, not included in the paper, uh, but after submitting uh, the paper to a journal, we were advised to do uh, significant uh, robustness checks, uh, which, which we did, and we, we have performed uh, various robustness checks, and I have found that our results are quite, uh, quite robust. Uh, what, what we did was to do a Monte Carlo simulation, structural break test, uh, inclusion of exchange market pressure variables on the right-hand side, uh, and uh, also inclusion, including uh, global risk and other factors on the right hand side. All, all everything showed us that our results are extremely uh, reasonable, okay? So, uh, conclusion, uh, s some recent studies claim that the renminbi block has emerged in East Asia. Our really simple uh, model uh, says that uh, uh, the estimated uh, uh, implicit currency basket, including the renminbi, uh, would say that uh, the renminbi weight has risen in East Asia's currency basket, uh, but uh, the renminbi has not quite eclipsed the US NARA as the most dominant anchor currency. And these conclusions are quite robust to alternative specifications of the model. Thank you. Ah, very much.